This is my review of the UTG Alpha Battle Carrier Multi Firearm Sling Pack. Okay, so I've been looking at different types of covert style rifle bags for a while because uh, I don't particularly like people knowing when I'm taking guns to and from my to and from my car. You know, I don't have like nosy neighbors or anything that I know of, but at the same time. I do live in an area with a lot of drug addicts and uh, some less desirable type of people. So, I'm not too keen on them, you know, knowing that, you know, I'm carrying an assault rifle to go to the range or whatever, you know. I'm just not comfortable with them knowing that I have that type of stuff in my house because, while well, so lots of people think it's a deterrent, I also think that, you know, it can lead to some unwanted problems, you know, I have had people try to break in in the past and stuff like that. So basically I was looking for something that, you know, didn't necessarily look like a rifle bag. And at first I had started looking and I found the Blackhawk racket bag, which was, uh, you know, they're, they're cool looking and they're, they look like they're made nice and, you know, they're padded nice and all that stuff. But, uh, I started looking online, and they were sold out everywhere before Christmas. Like, I, you cannot find those things anywhere. And if you could, I mean, they they wanted, like, you know, over probably 30% more than what they normally go for. So, I looked around online and everything, and I ran across this UTG bag, which I wasn't too thrilled on, like, the shape of it at first. It's so kind of like coffin-shaped, but, uh, you know, I got the looked and everything I was like man that looks like it, it it could be pretty decent so I went ahead and got it and plus if you've seen some of my other videos I don't exactly look like the guy that can get away with carrying a tennis racket bag like who's gonna believe that I'm going around playing tennis right okay so anyway let's get into it so it's a UTG rifle bag and it's got some features uh, some features here you know it's like a single sling design uh, Heavy duty zippers, heavy duty lining, all that stuff. It says, um, I've had it for a few months now, and I've got to say I'm pretty in, pretty impressed with it. I guess there's some quick pull uh, instructions for if you want to pull your gun out real quick or anything like that. I really haven't even tried to do anything like that or messed with it. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. So. It's got several different uh, several different compartments here. Got one here. It's pretty good size. I keep tools and uh, some spare rags and stuff like that in there. You know, just like stuff like that. And then got a good size compartment here. Throw some ammo in there. You've got three boxes of. 300 blackout in there. <laughs> I'd fit more in there if I wanted to. It's a good, decent sized pocket. Then it's got this other pocket up here, which it wasn't even advertised, but this has a. Uh... Let me get, it, let me get it out here. Sorry, it's hard to do one handed. Anyway, it's got a holster in there for a pistol. You can throw a pistol, small pistol in there if you want, which is a nice option. Yeah, we'll leave that out for now. <laughs> then, well, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here on the inside, huh? Sorry for my crappy camera work. Ooh, what we got in there? Well, we got a pump action shotgun, pistol grip. And this fell out, but if you see this, I did have that in there with it. So, I mean, it's pretty good size.
It's got Velcro straps for securing your firearm. I guess these are the quick pull straps. I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, I'm not really sure how those are intended to be used. I haven't messed with them. And then you got this end here. But this end is meant to shove the shove the end of your firearm in here or whatever to help keep it secure then that velcro strap secures the back end and then it's got a padded divider in there Let's see what else we got in here oh look we got an AR pistol gee that's that fits in there real nice we got a couple spare mags in there yeah it's not very comfortable I'm not gonna lie it's not real comfortable to carry when you got two firearms in there but say so if you just got that AR pistol in there whatever it fits in there fine well, pretty good construction it's got a pretty decent padding in it. I don't think the padding's quite as thick as the Blackhawk bag, but I think I paid, I'm gonna say I paid 40 or 50 bucks for this. So I mean, for that price point, it's a really decent bag. Especially if you live in I live out in the country, but if you live in an apartment or anything like that and you just don't want, particularly want people knowing that you're carrying guns and stuff back to your car, this bag doesn't scream, you know, gun bag. You know, it looks like maybe you got a camping backpack, something like that. I mean, it does have the UTG on there. You know, some people may know what that is, some people may not. But uh, a lot of people knock UTG because I guess they used to make airsoft products and stuff like that, but... I bought several things from them, you know, just when I needed something and I didn't, you know, particularly want to spend the money to get the top of the line stuff. And I've never had any issues out of their stuff. So, I mean, I've had rail mounts and, well, I've got a UTG Pro rail on my, uh, on one of my ARs and, man, that thing's held up great. And it's worked great. Now, then again, I'm not a, not one of these people that, you know, goes out and trains all the time or anything like that. But, uh, you know, for what I use it for, it works great. So, oh, I guess I'll show you the back side here. There's a back side. I mean, it's heavy, heavy padding right there, which is nice. And then it's got, if you want to run a, I guess a belt style, put a you know, for secure it around your waist or whatever. I guess you could do that. Just detach it there and do that or something. Oh, I'm not real sure. I've just basically used it to... Oh, I guess it's just a right or left hand. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's just like right or left hand. And then you've got handles here on the side. Sorry. Handles here on the side. And you got a handle up top I believe so I mean it's got plenty of ways to carry it however you like and uh, you know, that sling thing is pretty comfortable and I don't feel like it needs a needs to or anything like a regular backpack um, I guess it's got some molly webbing there but uh, if you put anything on that it kind of defeats the purpose of it being discreet. So, I guess that's basically all I got to say about it. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Peace out.